What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're talking about clones. Yes, clones, one of your favorite topics. That's why you're here, right? We're talking about 10 that you need to try this year. They're not the same old, same old recommendations. These are 10 that are absolutely must try that you should get to know if you want to elevate your collection for not a lot of money. Stay tuned. Starting with a fragrance that smells very similar to a discontinued gem in the community why I sell Lomo team. This is Rasasi Essential. Very, very much smells like it. It has that dry, dusty rose smell with that beautiful, crisp ginger. Oh, it's a dead ringer for it. 90 plus percent accurate, six to eight hours longevity. It performs pretty much exactly like it as well. It's like, it's not quite a carbon copy, but it's pretty close. That's why I say 90 plus percent accurate, both in scent the way it develops, the way it performs. And it's like 30 bucks. Kind of a no-brainer if you're looking for Lone Mall Team and you don't want to spend reseller prices because it's been discontinued for a few years now. It's amazing. But you can get a pretty close experience with Rosace Essential. Beware of potency. I'm wearing this fragrance right now. I've taken a shower. It's still on me. It survived. I got five sprays around the neck, one spray on my forearm. About 30 seconds after I sprayed this fragrance, my wife came in the room when I was transferring the scent of the day shorts video to my computer. And she said, what the hell is that? I said, well, Latafa Atlas. She said, oh my God, it's filling the entire apartment. I said, well, is that a good thing or a bad thing? She said, it's way too much. She said, I'm not saying it smells bad. It smells nice, but it is just way too strong. And I just finished talking about how much a monster it is because I've been testing it the last couple of days. Literally, in the shorts video I was transferring, I ended up adding a note. Quick fun fact, guys. Added that to the end of it. I did the whole SpongeBob 12 seconds later intersect. For those of you that saw it, you know what I'm talking about. It's crazy strong. Fresh, green, super saltwater, aquatic, musky. A little bit of moss as it dries. Um, I've had people, when I talked about how salty and aquatic it is for me. Talk about, I get mint and oak moss. It's very earthy green for me. The saltiness comes out heavy on me. I get what you guys are talking about too. I just get a lot of ambergris. A lot of ambergris. A lot. So if you don't like ambergris, you might not like this. Super synthetic ambergris. Beast, 12 plus hours. Two to three hours easy in room filling projection. Apartment filling projection easily. This is nuclear for an aquatic. No brainer for you, those of you looking for crazy performance. If you want that knock your socks off type of a performer, aquatic, green aquatic, get to know it, Latafa Atlas. Possibly Paris Corner's best release this year. Rifakat Adorn, smells like tuxedo with loads of cedar. Loads of cedar wood. It's like cedar wood plus tuxedo. I would put the cedar wood first. And it gives it so much nuance. I actually like uh, everything I've ever smelled that smells like tuxedo, except for actual YSL tuxedo, I like this more. Because YSL tuxedo, it's on its own level. This though, as far as inspired and clone and twists and all that, this is more of a twist clone than anything else. This is the one, this is the one. I did a full review on this one, phenomenal performance. It's got all that peppered, vanillic, benzoin, slight patchouli, but loads of cedar wood. Another one I feel like you should really get to know this year. If you like tuxedo, but you want something new from tuxedo's profile, check out Rifakat Adorn from Paris Corner. Very cheap from Maison Alhambra. Smells just like a more affordable, cheaper smelling, because it is cheaper smelling, versus oud wood and thymines carved oud. This is crafted oud. This is a Firo collection. From Maison Alhambra. It's like 20 bucks. It smells just like it. Obviously not the same quality. Good enough. 90 plus percent accurate. Great for, you know, six to eight hours performance. Not, not a beast, but at least not for me. It has that cleaner, medicinal-like oud smell. Smoky, bright, minty, spiced. Loads of different spices. Fresh and spicy. It's a good one. It's definitely a good one. That's why we're talking about it here today. If you haven't tried this one yet, 
And you like oud wood or crafted oud? Or carved oud, sorry, this is crafted oud. If you like that means carved oud, which I think is a little bit better than oud wood, honestly. But even if you're a oud wood fan and don't want to spend oud wood money or thymine money, Mason Alambo's got you covered with crafted oud. Now this smells like the older version. I have the newest version and it's spicier. It's got a lot of nutmeg, way spicier. But aside from that, pretty much the same fragrance. My oh my, how I love this bottle. Valencia, one more intense, Valentino, one more intense twist. All oh, that waxy iris, beautiful leather accord, sweet vanilla, and of course that waxy yet powdery iris. I love this bottle too. This stuff's cheap. This is like a 20, $25 fragrance too. Eight hours performance longevity. Every time I've clocked, it's been right around eight hours before I take a shower, and it still wasn't a skin scent. Uh, I wouldn't call it a monster projector, but less is more with very powdery floral fragrances. Less is more. I wouldn't do more than like five sprays with this. It's really strong at that point. Um, I would call it in that moderate to heavy range in projection for a good hour and a half, maybe even into two hours. And then the sillage on that moderate, slightly moderate to mild side. It's a little bit more subdued, but it's very classy, very elegant. Stunning fragrance for the money, for sure. Valentino Woman Intense, obviously better, but... For a fraction of that. And the bottle's better. I like this bottle better. This is good stuff. Get to know it. Valencia. One more intense. I love Pacific Chill. And I said I wasn't going to wear it till the summer. And I've only worn it once because I got this not too long after. And it's just as good for a fraction of the cost. Sorry. It's Luciano Coastal Breeze. It's going to... The ceiling fan is going to make it go down right away, but I'm going to try to catch it. Oh, and I did. Apricot, juicy, citron, grapefruit, or, or lemon. Um, just so fruity, sweet, tropical, watery, a little green. Average performance, like six hours. It's like 40 bucks. Totally worth having. I paid over 300 for Pacific Chill, so 40 bucks ain't bad. Now... Not same quality, not same performance, close, but not the same. Good enough though, gotta say, I'm digging it. I really, really like this fragrance. That's why we're talking about it. You should give it a try. Luciano Coastal Breeze. Now one I haven't talked about in a long time, I've done a full review on. If you're looking for accuracy for Invictus Aqua 2016, this is definitely a strong one to contend, to consider it's a great contender was what i was trying to say for the accuracy of that armoff niche sapphire you're not going to hear people talk about this one i don't know if it's due to gatekeeping or just forgetfulness or there's just so many invictus aqua like fragrances out there it gets lost in the shuffle but this is actually smoother than invictus aqua 2016 and 2024 because it's the same thing richer performs great and it's pretty much dead on. It does smell of higher quality. It's still a synthetic blue aquatic, but it smells like Armoff used better oils than Paco Rabanne did to create that fragrance. That's much more screechy synthetic than this is. It's so much smoother. The richness of the grapefruit and the aquatic notes, it's a little on the powdery side, not as powdery as like the 2018, a little touch of powder like the 2016. Love the bottle too. Bottle's great, performance is great, scent's great. It's great. You should try it. I'm off niche sapphire. Okay, so it's been a while since I've talked about this one. Everybody's got their Sauvage Elixir at this point. And I've tried a bunch of them. You know what's still the most accurate one for the money? From top to bottom in scent profile and development, from top to bottom in performance and all subcategories of it, it's Sauvage Elixir from Alexandria Fragrances. Still the most accurate. Sure, you can get Latafa Assad for 20 bucks. It ain't as good as this. You can pay four times that easily for this. But it, it's way better. It's way better. You catch a good discount code. I don't, ha I don't have anything. I'll see if I can find something for Alexandria with the link below. See if I can find some kind of discount code out there. I don't know if they got 10, 15, 20, 25%, whatever, different holidays. You never know. I'll put the link. I'll see if I can find one. I can't guarantee anything for a code, but... They got 60 mils, they got 100 mils, they got samples, and you should try it. This is nuclear performing just like Sauvage Elixir. It's the woody, spicy aromatic, just like it. Same spices, dries the same, bright and aromatic, sandalwood. 
dead ringer. Dead ringer. It's still the man. This is him. When it comes to Savage Elixir clones, still him. Alexandria's at Savage Elixir. Now I've raved about this one. I've spent a lot of time in the last like three weeks with this one. Wearing it to the gym, wearing it casually, wearing it out the shower. Done a full review on it. Fragrance Worlds, Aether, French Avenue. It's Greenlee. Very accurate. It's got more of a sharp cedar to it, like it's clearly a lower quality cedar oil. So if you don't like that sharp kind of <sighs> garbage cedar oil, let's call it what it is. It's, it's low quality synthetic cedar, but it blends well in here. It really works. Uh, Cause when you compare it to the cedar note and actual Greenlee, it's far smoother. But this is so close aside. From, that's the only difference I detect. On test strip, they were virtually identical. Then I started spending time with them on the skin and that's the clear distinction between the two is the quality of the cedar oil. It's very dominant here. Solid performer, slightly above average. Average is slightly above average. Nothing crazy, doesn't form as well. Doesn't, the quality's not as good as the real deal. You should go with the real deal if you're willing to spend the money. It's definitely superior. I always recommend the original. The original's always the way to go. But if you want something close, really close for the money. They did a really good job. It's Fragrance World's Aether, French Avenue. Last but not least, this is a dead ringer. Another great release from Paris Corner. If you like the Strong With You line, let's say you like Strong With You Oud, but you don't want to spend over 100. Get Veteran Oud from Paris Corner in their Pandora Sense line because it smells like the same fragrance in a different bottle. It's got the leather, oriental, spicy, slight woodsy heaviness. Oh, what that roasted chestnut smell. The roasted chestnut and the sweetness from the DNA with all the things that make Strong With You Oud so interesting. Great performance, another great showing from Paris Corner. This is best foot forward kind of stuff for, th for them. I'm such a mark for the Strong With You line. Naturally, I'm gonna be the guy that raves about the dead on accurate clone of one of them. It's so good, it's spot on. I've done side by sides. It is, I've done a full review on this one. It's spot on. If you want Strong With You, Ood for a lot less money, and it's the same. 90 plus percent accurate, it's me undercutting it. Try this, Paris Corners Veteran Oud. Well, that's the tin that I have for you. I tried to make it as quick as I could, because I know a lot of the recent videos have been pretty long with some tangents and stories in between, so I tried to keep it to the point as best I could in this one. And until next time, do me a quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback and love hearing from you guys. Of these 10, what have you tried? What are you familiar with? Not all of these are obscure, under the table, hush tones, nobody really knows about them, but a few of them aren't getting the kind of love they really should get. And I felt it was my duty to shine some light on them. Literal, there's light over there, light over there, light over there, I'm shining some light on them. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave. And I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.